on, y'all? This is the New Release Wednesday show, giving you the N.E.W. from the N.R.W. I am Patrick Michael Strange, but I am joined by the coolest homies in the world. I got KPRM Gaming, my brother, Louis Bailey. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Good, good, good. And, of course, Makuya, my brother over here from another mother, Marky Mark. It's not really nerdy. How are you? Good, man. How are you? For those that aren't Filipino, Kuya means brother. Yeah. So I had to say brother to this guy, and I had to say kuya to this guy. Like, I can't know. understand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, show them to all my people. Wow. My Pinoy is understanding me out there. And that's mm-hmm. Filipino people for you American mm-hmm. people out there out there that don't know what Fair Pinoy enough. is. Love Fair enough. Guys. Anyway, you know. Here we go, <laughs> y'all. We're having a good time. This is your NRW for December 5th, 2018. It's the holiday season. Y'all getting your uh, Christmas shopping yes. done. Um Trying to get, get, trying, get exactly. trying to. <laughs> hey, we, we got tomorrow off. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, shout out to the late uh, George H.W. Bush. Um, you know, it's sad that he is gone. Uh, it allowed us to have a, a day off in remembrance for him for December 5th, uh, Wednesday. So um, you're happy about that. that- I'm the day off. off. Well, I'm not happy that we lost a, a, a good, a good man. Well, I don't know if uh, if he's a good man or not. Um, he was a president, yep. but I'm I, I'm a person of color, and there's things that I would have liked to have seen that he could have handled. But anyway, that's another story for another day. Shout out to my man Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a day off, but I respect the office, and he. From what I understand, did try to do from those that I served with, um, he did try to do some things, but um, keeping it moving. Uh, I just hope there's presidents under my tree for Cyber Monday since you can see you got some stuff done, right? Those, um, um, yeah. okay, good, thank you. <laughs> yeah. if, if I want we... Dragon Ball Fighters for, for my Xbox, all right, I'm just putting get, that out there. You'll get it for the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got a lot of cool fun games coming out um, And we have a lot of cool movies coming out And so we're going to get right into it We're getting to the meat and potatoes of our weekly show Because we record a lot of stuff before we do this y'all And I'm tired yeah. And I have stuff to do tomorrow So um, I'm going to throw it to my gamer crew right here NRW Gaming, Mark and uh, Lewis With what is out in gaming this week Man, we got a whole lot of nothing coming out this week no, <laughs> I, I am just kidding Man, this week, when I looked at this week I was blown away with how much oh, is yeah. coming out this week. Yes. Like, tremendous release week for the 7th. Wow. Uh, starting off from yesterday, the PlayStation Classic came out. Mm-hmm. Ah, the, yeah. the, the the Sony's rendition the mini of the, the mini console, the Sony PlayStation. It comes with 20, um, 20 different titles. I know Metal Gear, Metal yeah. Gear Solid's on there. Final Fantasy VII. Um, they have Tekken Jumping 3, Jack Flash. Yeah. Tekken 3's on there. Tekken Filter, I think. Siphon Filter's on there. Um, uh, the reviews for it have been hit or miss. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are complaining that the controller you get is not the DualShock. It's the old controller. Mm. Which might it's be. classic. It's a no, classic. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. It's they they kept it classic. Yeah. Correct. And uh, some of the versions of the games that you got are the European versions, which which run at a slower frame rate. Mm. Uh, that, that's a little weird. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, if you want to celebrate Sony PlayStation yeah. from back, you know, in the old days, and you don't want to do it emulation style, mm. you know, this is a great Christmas gift to give out this season. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's $99. Yeah. You get 20 games. You get this old feeling for the PlayStation. Yeah. So... Um, coming out today, yeah. um, today for all my guardians out there, uh, Destiny has come out with the Black Armory DLC, starting off the season of the Forge. Uh, they actually, if you check out Respawn this week, um, plug. <laughs> check out Respawn. Plug. It's already on the channel, Shameless y'all. Plug. Episode <laughs> four, y'all. Um, <laughs> we do talk about it a bit more, but they did release a content calendar going all the way up to I want to say August of 2019. So they talk about. Everything they got coming out until then. Okay. There we go. Uh, also coming out, uh, today came out, uh, Just Cause 4. Yes. yes. Big open world game of massive destruction. Yes. You got an awesome character that's been the same character for all four games. Mm-hmm. And I think the biggest highlight Rico. of this one is 
the weather system of mm -hmm. tornadoes causing massive destruction. So that's for real, for real. I saw it. We did that a trailer reaction to Just Cause uh, 4. And uh, yeah, they gave us like that big storm. And I was yeah. curious if that really was... I, I, it was going to be in the uh, story sequence, or if it was actually going to be in game it's, affected. It's both. both. It's yep. both. Yeah. So it'll yeah. happen at random intervals, yeah. and I think eventually That's you dope. might have the ability to even create one and control them. Get the fuck out of here. So yeah. just even okay. more fun with the amazing grappling hook, which yeah. is the funnest thing to mess with. Flinging into a tornado, <laughs> and, and now flinging wow. people into tornadoes or whatever. I mean, that's just crazy over the top action yeah. and everything can be destroyed for the most part mm -hmm. like you know controlling I, the weather for my geo joe fans that's the weather dominator if you remember the classic original episodes cobra tried to control the weather with the weather dominator and we're getting that in just cause four I forgot super that. dope <laughs> yeah that's old that's good pool right yeah yeah there you go there you go <laughs> the weather dominator uh that's for uh 59.99 coming out for ps4 xbox one and pc all, nice. all available there. Cool. Um, for this was also a one that was kind of shown off at E3 and kind of got a little bit buzz in there. Uh, not too much was known about it. Uh, this is also came out today. Uh, Mutant um, Year yeah. Zero Road to Eden. This just kind of had a uh, a launch trailer, not really any mm -hmm. gameplay. And then we finally got a release trailer, and it's basically an XCOM-style yeah. strategy game. But you have these mutant animals, like a duck that carries a shotgun. You have a warthog that does like a charge mm -hmm. move. And it's got this XCOM-style strategy that if you love XCOM, I'm, you're obviously going to love this. And so far, people have been giving it pretty good reviews. Um, I've... That's all I've really seen about it, and I'm kind of surprised, like, oh, it's a strategy game? Cool. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, so I believe that came out for PC, Xbox mm -hmm. One, and PS4, and I think that's also for $59.99. Uh, so uh, if, you, if you want another XCOM game, Bobby, there you go. check it out. For uh, PlayStation owners, you guys can finally play PUBG. I know... Uh, yep. That's been hitting on PC and Xbox. But, you know, if you're on PS4 and you're getting tired of Fortnite or whatever Battle Royale you're playing, <laughs> uh, go check out PUBG. PUBG. Ultimate. Yeah. PUBG's ultimate. It is. I'm sorry, Fortnite it players. Is. You know, no, PUBG is where it's at. Come on. you. <laughs> PUBG is you, greater than Fortnite? No, not PUBG. Fortnite. Oh, okay. I was, I was going to say, like, what? I haven't played either. Fortnite. Now, I, I will say because I'm going to get a lot of hate mail for them. But, oh, you hate Fortnite. PUBG sucks. Yeah, yeah, I gave yeah. Fortnite the good old college try of 10 hours, and so did Dale. He, we both went on it together. I streamed my very first kill, which I was celebrating about it, and then I got killed right afterwards. It was so hysterical. <laughs> I gave it a 10 hour college try, and this is a game that is not for me. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, I same, way yeah, it same, is, same way with me. It, it is just in the style that I. So just, PUBG greater than Fortnite, at least in Crusty you guys. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to recommend it. And that's kind of. I feel kind of weird because I just down again. I haven't played either, but I recently downloaded Fortnite to see what the fuss is about. Haven't played it yet, yeah. but I'm kind of excited for it. With their free to play model, you know, you can't take away what they're doing in the industry. They're the first game ever to be cross-platform uh -huh. on every platform. You can play on your phone. Yeah, so oh, really? Like, I didn't know that. The cell yeah. phone works really well. Like, in Even Battlegrounds also has a cell yeah. phone app that works extremely well. Yeah. I was okay. surprised. Like, wow, this is... I just kind of want to see what the fuss is all about. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, you know, give it a go. Okay. I, I'll, I'll re recommend it to everybody. Like, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Okay. This is not a game for everybody, no, unless, no. like, you're from the ages of, you know, eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my nephews are, like, hardcore yeah. about it. Same with mine. Mine, too. Um, so, coming for uh, PS4, uh, this PS4 and PS Vita, if you are a Persona fan and you went through oh, Persona yeah. 5, you love the Persona series and you've been wanting more, well, today they released the... Side stories for Persona 3, 4, and 5, which are the dancing games. Uh, so 
We have kind of like Persona, Just Dance. Kind of yes, more like a it's controller version yeah. of Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, controllers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's uh, it originally started with Persona Four Dancing All Night on the PS Vita. Mm -hmm. Uh, that originally came out a couple years ago, and they're re-releasing it with the release of Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight and Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight. Mm -hmm. uh, these are kind of dancing games where they're doing a remix of the original soundtracks, which are very oh, good yeah. J-pop oh, yeah. soundtracks. Mm -hmm. And some of the remixes on there are really good. Others are kind of hit and miss. But you go through these dancing segments that are fighting off... Uh, they're not really demons, but they're kind of yeah. demons. And there's a whole story that goes along wow. with it. Um, but really, that what you're there for is the music. Mm -hmm. okay. um, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Persona 4 soundtrack was really good with the remixes that they brought onto it. Um, I believe it's the seventh track in the album. There is a very smooth jazz, jazz pop piece, which is amazingly good even people that i played it played it around they're just amazed of how smooth like you could literally do like a, a jazz dance to this it is <laughs> that smooth and really all great. right i haven't heard the soundtracks yet so i'm probably going to pick them up this week and listen to them and check them out okay. so um i mean if you're really into that and i think buying them individually is 39.99 you can get the collection which I believe includes all three of them for fifty nine ninety nine or sixty nine ninety nine something like that. I haven't really seen the price. Okay, uh, but it's a uh, if you're a Persona fan, yeah, definitely pick it up. Let's talk about the big one coming out on Friday, December seventh. I want I know you're hyped for. It. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it to you yeah. just because yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. coming out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gun grave. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Ultimate. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped for this, and you should be too. We are getting the Ultimate Edition of oh, Smash yeah. Brothers. This has 74 yeah. characters in this game. Damn. With yeah. DLC the entire for Nintendo five stable. Yeah, basically. The, basically, <laughs> like the <laughs> biggest collaboration yeah. for all Nintendo fighters, and. We're looking to do a, uh, a live streaming on Friday okay. once we pick it up. So we'll have a party gaming to just, just show it off. Um, it's already been leaked out there. But I'm, yeah. I'm telling people, don't watch any of it. Yeah. Don't don't watch it, please. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you've never played Smash Brothers before, I think we've all kind of played it. It's a multiplayer brawler where you're knocking people out of the stage. You can do four people. You can do up to eight people. Mm -hmm. You got characters like Super Mario, Star Fox, Bowser. No Bowser for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, they they'll, do a, they'll do the update. <laughs> I'm hoping. Uh, they just recently added Richter and Simon mm -hmm. Belmont. Oh, which wow. I'm, I'm like super excited for. Yeah. They have Ken and Ryu in mm -hmm. it. They have Mega Man, Sonic the Hedgehog. So they partnered with Capcom a little bit. Yeah. They, oh, they, and Sega. You said Sonic? Yeah, wow. They have, they have partnered with they so have many other companies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sonic it's, Snake from uh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear Konami. Konami. Yep. So they, they, yeah, they have partnered with uh, yeah. so many different companies. Sweet. This. Um, and, the, and even the soundtrack on this, if you love Nintendo soundtracks, this is going to be, from what they've stated in their videos... And then a 800 song soundtrack that wow. will literally take 27 wow. hours to play through. Wow. Um, and, you know, a lot of this music comes from very good, very great composers of that area. It's just really catchy tunes. Um, I know I'm talking about game music all the time, but yeah. I, I am a fan of game music. Um, but this is, this is one, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you cannot miss this. Period. Uh, I think this is their number one best pre-selling game right now for the Switch. It's probably going to be their number one best seller for a while to come until maybe the next Mario or the next Zelda comes out. I mean, we'll see what happens. Also, uh, ending out the gaming for this week, we do have on Thursday, December 6th, I want to say, the Gaming Awards, which uh, the Russo brothers oh, are rumored yeah, to be yeah, there. Yeah. And everybody's been wanting this uh, Avengers 4 trailer, so 
maybe look out oh, for that yeah. one. Um, and then on Sunday as well, we do have the Gamers Choice Awards on uh, broadcast TV. I want to say that's on CBS. I could be wrong on that. Fact check on that one, guys. Something like that. Yeah. 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 I will say, though, I, I saw what you were saying, and I thought mm -hmm. the same thing with what, with yeah. that the Russo's being there. But I want to say on Facebook or Twitter, it might have been. Got debunked. It, I wouldn't say got debunked, but there was a uh, uh, image mm -hmm. that had the Avengers logo and it said uh, new trailer and poster on Good Morning America oh, for Wednesday. Okay. So with, I think we're getting okay. it actually the Tomorrow, day of where we'll yeah. be dropping this episode. So who knows? We'll see. Maybe maybe it's there or not yet because not everything you see on the internet is real people. Yeah. <laughs> so gaming awards sounds cool. Yeah. All right. Definitely. All right. So uh, I guess wrapping up gaming now. Moving on to uh, we usually started off with the Blu-rays and DVDs. We're gonna go into that now because we have the gaming guys on y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to let Mark and Lewis do the thing. And yeah, and there's just it's so a much week. gaming <laughs> happening because. I think you know these game developers. It's it's the holiday season. Yeah, we want exactly. you yeah. parents out there to buy these <laughs> gaming systems for your kid. Well, it's it was interesting because every week we see maybe one two big releases. Yeah. This week was it's like everything. like seven eight big releases. Huge like if you want to get everything, you're gonna spend oh, yeah. six hundred bucks. Yeah, a minimum. Yeah, to get everything. I mean, it's just insane. Yep. So, Enough fun in games, though. Yeah. So I just want to say, Mom, I want the PS4 bundle <laughs> with Spider-Man. So uh, I need to be able to play Spider-Man because I am such a webhead freak. Um, I need that, and because some of these guys are only on PSN. Um, so yeah. I want to play with them. So yeah. let me know. Hook me up. And I also want Dragon Ball Fighters. That been is a very good boy. I've been a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming out on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. We got a bunch of great films. Uh, the first one out the gate is uh, my man Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible Fallout. I actually nice. saw this installment of uh, Mission Impossible. Pretty fun. He goes against uh, uh, the, the the mustachioed one himself, <laughs> Henry Cavill, yep, aka Superman. Super this is the reason why he had the mustache CGI'd out in Justice League, which was terrible. He should have got the Marvel guys to CGI that stuff because they can make Samuel L. Jackson look young. They can make Kirk Douglas, Michael Douglas, look young. They, they even made Michelle Pfeiffer look mad young. They should just... You should have got those guys instead of uh, what. That very noticeable CGI that you did in Justice League. This is anyway. just CGI did to make it longer. I'm telling you. So, uh, Mission Impossible 5, I thought it was a decent movie. Uh, it had a no, lot of fun I, twists and turns. Did y'all see it? I, I, I enjoyed Mission Impossible. It's been a long time since I've seen one. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. Oh, so you didn't see Fallout? Yeah, yeah, Okay, cool. Yeah, I like Fallout. Yeah, I haven't checked it out. I definitely will, though. Well, Rand, we'll watch sense. it in my theater, bro. Right. It's good. so cool. And having recently been to Paris, seeing some of the... Uh, Places they filmed uh, where they, a lot of that crazy driving scenes and mm -hmm. through the city, it was crazy. It was maze balls. Nice. Uh, great film. Check out Mission Impossible Fallout. Uh, the Happy Time Murders. Uh, Melissa McCarthy, yes. basically a That's adult dream. comedy with puppets. Yeah. Um, I was very intrigued to see this, but I never made it to the theaters to see this. Um, yeah. Now that it's on Blu-ray DVD, I think I'll be renting yeah. this one. What yeah. do you think about this one? Did you see the trailer for this? I, I, I've seen the trailers. I uh, didn't go check out the movie. I'll probably wait till it's on Hulu, Amazon, Netflix. But I'll, I'll watch that for 50 cents. <laughs> Dale, did you see it? Not yet. No. Okay, I think all of us That's haven't seen it. But uh, now that it's out, we're going to go cop that. I'm going to red box streets. that one. Um, this one I haven't seen, but this one I'm kind of intrigued on. I like uh, war documentaries, and this is a... Uh, uh, I think based on a true story, yeah, it is. Uh, Operation Finale. I'm going to read a little bit on this one. Uh, director Chris White's historical thriller is based on the true story of how a group of Israeli secret agents mm -hmm. arrested notorious SS officer Adolf Eichmann, the man who masterminded the final solution in Argentina. Uh, Oscar Isaac plays the legendary Mossad agent Peter Malkin, while Ben Kingsley plays his emotionally manipulative arch nemesis. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. We have uh, Ben Kingsley and Oscar Isaac uh, in this uh, historical thriller. It looks pretty cool. Um, I kind of like stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, interesting to see Ben Kingsley into it. I'm like, oh, well, that's yeah. an interesting role for him. Yeah. Oh. So uh, check out Operation Finale if you're a war buff and you want some of that. And uh, being re-released uh, re uh, on 4K finally, we have the Blu-ray, the DVD, the VHS tape. I actually have each one of those of this particular film. The Lion King. 
Oh. The, the, the animated great, the first yeah. film that I ever so cried so in the theaters. At, I'm not going to lie. And I was with a bunch of my Pinoy homies. <laughs> we had the Pinoy squad out in full effects. There was like 12 of us. And I was in a theater next to my boys. And then all of a sudden, Simba sees his father falling. He's falling. He's dying. Wait, the movie starts off like that? No. Oh, but man. I was Simba like, seeing hey. his father die is the first time I've ever cried at an animated film. And I was with a bunch of friends. And I felt like the biggest punk ever. <laughs> but then at the same time, some of the shorties that was with me, they was like, hey, you're sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least they didn't do it like what? Did like, y'all not cry at Lion King? Did y'all not feel it? Like, no, no. I, I was just kind of like, Dad! Oh. I, I think the movie that broke me was Bambi when it's like your, okay. mother, your mother's not coming back. Let's go. And then next scene, <laughs> and then it's just like I did not even have chance to like sorrow, feel sad. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? So then I see Mufasa going down, James Earl Jones, no! <laughs> and I will admit, like when Simba started crying, like kind of. Trying to move it. It's it. like it's like I cheered up, but I'm not like, oh, Scar, what you got to See, it's not fair for me. I had onions near me at the time. So. Ah, <laughs> Dale felt it too. All right, did you feel the tears? Are you gonna see these tears in 4K? I might, I might try and re- <laughs> tree, try and rehash. We're, we're gonna really capture his, dream, his tears in 4K resolution. <laughs> Give them to us, Marianne. How did you feel about the Lion King Disney film? The old one was great. The new one hasn't been released yet. I mean, <laughs> Mary, Mary. Oh, yeah. The, the, and I actually haven't even seen the trailer yet. I've been staying one. away from the live action one yet. Mm-hmm. But the, the the classic. So, and actually, probably that's why they're re releasing it, I would assume. Yeah. Beyond just Definitely. getting the 4K edition of it. Definitely. Disney I, likes to make you double dip and get into those pockets. Did you I, know that, that The Lion King was based off an anime? Yes. The, I've heard of that. There's an anime that was. I don't know that to be entirely from. true, sir. I it's know there's a lot of it was real the 80s. elements. It's debatable. For exactly. Me. It was like Kimba or something. Something like that. But yeah. it was it was an anime from the, the 80s. White Lion. You can yes. say that also about Toy Story. But, we but they, did a scene, they did a scene by scene comparison, and it was very close. I've so. seen. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but it's also. I mean, if you've read Hamlet. Yeah. yeah, and there's a lot of things you okay, can say about. So, so it goes back to: is anything really ever original Nothing's anymore? Really so, original we can anymore. spend a long time on that one. Yeah, that's a different so time. But I, I, like, I like the movie. <laughs> I, I like the movie. I, I love The Lion King. Yes, mm-hmm. but we all know I'm a villains person. So my favorite, because. Was the Little Mermaid not because I gave a damn oh, about Ariel, yeah. but Watch because Ursula it. was everything? Oh. Yes. So Lion King is out in its 4K glory now. You can check that out before you see the new live action Lion King. That I actually need to go see that trailer too. We actually have to do a trailer for that one because I've yet to see this new live action one. So Lion King, super excited for that in its 4K glory. We have the Nun, y'all. Um, did y'all see that? It's the fifth installment uh, of that whole Conjuring horror franchise. Oh, with the, yeah. the whole doll and basically the documentary about the horror people? Is that, well, that's uh, that, that, Annabelle thing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking This about. one yeah. is the whole religious uh, thing and evil spirits and stuff. We actually did a reaction for this. Uh, there was a couple jump scares. It's one of those ones that you get a lot of jump scares. It scared the heck out of Brandy. And then I also mm-hmm. want to say Matt got scared too. Yeah, Matt, I saw you get scared. <laughs> so um, I, 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 I don't even think I saw the original Conjuring. Are y'all about the Conjuring franchise at no, all? I have not no. followed that. Right. Um, not a horror. It's just I, more I, of those glut of I think the last one I, I saw was list. like the haunting in, in Connecticut or something like that, like many years ago. And I was just kind of like, oh, that's um, another one. Another one. Okay, so exactly another one. If you're into the nun, another let us one. know in the comments if we really should see this. But that's out. Um, we also have Dog Days. This is kind of interesting to me, being a dog fan, a dog lover, having my little outfit upstairs. Um, dog Days is a uh, heartwarm, heartwarming ensemble comedy featuring five canine protagonists that bring their human counterparts closer together. Essentially a romantic comedy with dogs. Uh, it stars Nina Dobrev, Vanessa Hudgens, Shouts Been Nice, um, Adam Pally, Eva Longoria, Tone Bell, and John Bass. So if you want something to uh, just warm your heart a little bit and laugh and Enjoy dogs. Check out Dog Days. Um, also out, uh, we have Westworld Season 2. Um, that is out if you have not seen that. Handmaid's Tale Season 2. Uh, I've heard a lot of people recommend that. And Family Guy Season 16, y'all. So if you want to do some TV binging, 
Uh, you got Handmaid's Tale, Westworld, and Family Guy. Um, for you anime heads, I know you guys are anime dudes. Um, I'm kind of soon a little bit. Um, we've got uh, Naruto Shippuden, box set 36 uh, from Netflix. Actually, I've yet to watch this. It's on Netflix. But if you want to own it uh, on Blu-ray DVD, Castlevania Season 1. Nice. Uh, that is out. Uh, Kuma Miko, the complete series. We have Crest of the Stars, the complete series. Okay, that's worth getting. You're into that one? Crest of the Stars is good. Rainbow Days, the complete series. The Silver Guardian, the complete series. And Cheer Boys, the complete series. I, Check it out. I'm just wondering, where is the one anime, uh, what is it called, What's My Name? Why hasn't that been released? You want that one? That was supposed to be very good and won awards Okay. for that. And I... I'm looking for that one. When is that going to be released? Well, as soon as I find out, Lewis, I will let you know. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Come to theaters if you don't want to be stuck at home uh, playing your uh, Nintendo Switch and Super Mario Brothers with the gaming or watching these movies uh, on your home theater. Um, we have coming to theater, Mary Queen of Scots. Um, starring uh, Margot Robbie. I love her as Harley yeah, Quinn. Yeah. I love her in uh, that film that's escaping me right now Wolf with Leonardo DiCaprio. Wolf on Wall Street. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. where I fell in love with Margot <laughs> Robbie. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And she was also great in what was that film with uh, Nancy Kerrigan and all that? Uh, I, Tanya. I, Tanya. She was great in that. If you haven't seen I, Tanya, check that out. But uh, Mary Queen of Scots, I actually saw a little bit of uh, her appearance on Jimmy Kimmel the other night. Um, they showed a little clip. Uh, she looks like she's really got into that role. So I'm kind of excited to see that film. Uh, check that out. It also stars Soris Ronan, uh, Jack Loudon, and Joe Alwyn. Uh, Mary Queen of Scots, it's on limited release. We also have Ben is Back. It's a drama about a drug addicted teenage boy who shows up unexpectedly, unexpectedly at his family home on Christmas Eve. So uh, I'm assuming they're trying to capitalize with the holiday season and bring out, bring out a film in regards to that theme. Uh, we have uh, Julia Roberts in that, as well as Lucas Hedges and Courtney B. Vance and Catherine Newton. Check out Ben is Back. Um, also, this out in theaters and limited release, we have Box Lux, uh, starring Natalie Portman, Jude Law, Rafi Cassidy, and Christopher Abbott. It's a drama about music. An unusual set of circumstances brings unexpected success to a pop star. Mm. Not giving Vince very much there. It looks intriguing. Some of the visuals. I saw the poster for this. Um, I love me some Natalie Portman, y'all. True. So um, I might check it out just for her. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking with the other brain. <laughs> All right. Also out in theaters, we have Tyrell. And actually, I think we should do a, uh, a trailer reaction to this one because this looks intriguing to me. It's a comedy drama. Uh, Tyrell is a is Tyrell, a sole black man attends an otherwise all-white weekend of drunken bro debauchery on a birthday trip to a cabin in the Catskills. Interesting. I'm intrigued because I love race relations and racism. Tyrell. Yeah. I'm so uh, we should do a trailer reaction to this one, guys, because this one looks pretty interesting, and I want to see what the fuck this is going going on with this. It stars Christopher Abbott, Tressa Rancio, Nicholas Ars, and Max Born, and that's opening at theaters. Um, so maybe stay tuned on the channel, and we'll give you a trailer reaction for that. Also out to end up uh, with the rest of the films coming out, we have Central Park. This actually looks intriguing to me as well. I think I want to do a trailer reaction to this. It's a horror thriller. Uh, Central Park is a unique genre-bending thriller horror film that spans one night in the world's most famous park. Six best friends, high school students prepare for a night of fun, school is boring, family life unbearable, and Harold and his friends have turned Central Park into their spot. Young and invincible, Harold and his crew own this city. Unbeknownst to them, a revenge-seeking executioner prepares to kill them off one by one to pay for the sins of the father. I'm intrigued. Oh, Friday the 13th? But in Central Park, New York. So, Friday the 13th, Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> I didn't see Jason Takes Manhattan. Okay. Oh, shame on you. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. But so, <laughs> it's not that bad slash report. Central Park is in theaters. Those are your movie releases. We gave you your gaming releases. I think I know that this guy is going to be playing Super Smash Brothers uh, Party? Party. All weekend. Right? Uh, Just make some time to uh, join us at our uh, Korean barbecue party <laughs> this Sunday. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. All right. All right, guys, anything else to say? Any last words? Oh, Respawn, tell us about the yes. latest episode of Respawn, um, episode four. Episode four of Respawn, what did we talk about? Uh, Bethesda Game Studios getting in a little bit of trouble. Um, 
the Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 beta that opened up last week. Uh, Pokemon Go about to get some PvP battles. Uh, and they playing that Eevee? Releases. Wasn't there like an yes. Eevee game that came out recently? Yes. Uh, yeah, let's go Pokemon. Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just pick that up actually over the weekend. I heard a ton of people playing that. If you grew up on the original Pokemon games, red, blue, yellow. Yeah. And you have kids now, and you <laughs> want to get them into Pokemon, this is definitely... That's that. No, the, the, the kids are already in Pokemon. If Fair the enough. adults want Fair to be in Pokemon. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, guys, let's tell them how they can track us online and do all of that. Go ahead, Lewis. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash holymarcel. Uh, just recently did the first episode for Life is Strange Beyond the Storm as a cooperative playthrough with my good buddy, uh, Johnson Brains and Creative David. Uh, that video is a uh, warning. It is not for children. It does have graphic elements in there. Um, and uh, you can also find me on YouTube, uh, KPRM Gaming on YouTube. We just finished Darksiders 1 has been completed. So now uh, there is a uh, poll going out there for me on what to play next. So it's up to you guys to choose out of a list of six games what am i going to play through next they want me to play cuphead mm -hmm. marianne wants me to play through dead cells so right now we're currently tied two and two just put in your votes and you'll get to decide for me what i get to go through all right mark uh on all social media that i want you to find me on i'm not really nerdy <laughs> yes 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 uh, we have Dale still in here with us. Follow him at Dale X. Dalek. Dalek. Dalek Sec. He's a Who fan. He's a Whovian. I'm a Whovian. <laughs> Dale's off camera, but you'll see him in some of our trailer reactions, y'all. Welcoming him to NRW. Shout out to Dale. Thanks to, uh, happy to have you on board with us. And, um, Silent One. Lazy One. Marianne. From off camera. Do you have anything to say to us? Where we, they can follow you, track you? Oh, Vita's in. <laughs> That's Marianne. We love her. Um, I am Patrick Michael Strange. Follow me at patrickstrange.com and uh, either on Twitter or IG. I keep forgetting which one is which. I'm at Temple of Far East and at Strange since 1977. But we want you to follow and subscribe to our show. Uh, we are at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday. It's all on the screen right now. And until next time, y'all, this is the NRW giving you the NEW every week, every day. When can I have time by myself and just I can play video games like these guys? Because yes. I'm just editing all the time. Gotta join us, man. Gotta keep on gaming. Alright, y'all. We're out of here.